what it was. And the last that I heard, it wasn't clear yet, could it have been three separate uh, funnel clouds or maybe one that was touching down in several areas? I don't, I don't think we know And then yet. that would be considered um, separate tornadoes mm -hmm. in the case, wow. in that case. So it, it was very active yesterday during the rush hour evening commute. I know I was on the road. The rainfall was blinding wow. at times. Yeah, so we had those downpours. It's going to be much quieter, though, for today. And we already have that clearing uh, sky, or at least the area is clearing out from the rainfall as that storm system pulls away from central Indiana. Here's a look at those storm reports, including uh, some of the storm reports within western Rush County, which had uh, the potential of a tornado that did touch down. Looking at CBS 4 Future View for today, we are going to have quiet conditions. That cloud cover is going to move out of here. We should have more of that sunshine during the second half of our day. And then by the evening and overnight, skies are going to turn partly cloudy again. And then we will have those temperatures falling back into the upper 50s and that's what we're sitting at this morning 57 degrees northwesterly wind at 12 miles per hour that's going to bring in the less humid more comfortable air for central indiana and we currently have temperatures in the upper 50s lower 60s across the state should be in good shape weather weather wise on the roads this morning and also in the afternoon partly cloudy skies Temperatures rising near 76 degrees. The normal high for this time of year is 81. So temperatures are running below average, and we're going to see more of that in the days ahead as well. Keep in mind, if you are going to be outside a lot for today, the UV index, it is at an 8, and that means sunburn can happen in as little as 20 to 25 minutes. So it is important to remember sunblock or sunscreen if you are going to be out and about a lot today. Indians versus Clippers, they have a game this evening with first pitch occurring at 7. 05. Temperatures are going to fall back into the mid 70s and it'll stay comfortable with lighter winds out of the northwest this evening. We will fall to 58 degrees tonight with a few clouds in the sky. And then for tomorrow, another chance for rain. The heaviest of that rainfall and the most uh, coverage is actually going to occur during the afternoon. And we're only looking at a high at 73 degrees because of the showers around and that additional cloud cover that's going to be in place. This is 1:30 in the afternoon when we see that rain moving into west central Indiana. It does become much more widespread for the afternoon and into the first part of the evening. Evening. Rain chances are going to continue for Friday night. It's also going to carry into early Saturday morning. There's still going to be a lot of dry time though to enjoy through the weekend. We should dry out that afternoon, 75 degrees, and then Sunday the rain chances are going to hold off until the evening with our high closer to 83 degrees. We are going to warm up quickly into next week. 83, the high temperature on Sunday. Then we rise into the upper 80s Monday. Isolated storm chance going to be a possibility and then check it out by Tuesday and Wednesday, an opportunity for 90 degree temperatures. Beth?